Welcome to Adventures in Freeze Drying for Beginners. And today we are going to experiment. Made blueberry muffins from scratch with streusel topping, which I'm going to omit for what we're doing today. But I wanted to see if I couldn't get like a biscotti with this. I'm not sure you could get a whole muffin to rehydrate. So the last time I made these, I took half the batch and made a loaf of blueberry muffin bread. The recipe is I took out the oil, I used half of an avocado mashed and the rest of the one cup of oil um, was applesauce. My own creation, working on creating a non-baked freeze-dried granola bar. Some sort of like, need energy, need good food, no preservative, hiking, something kind of snacky thing. So we're going to try to throw that together and see how it goes. I've got a couple ideas. I've been at this, my last batch turned out, so I've got a base um, recipe for this, but we're going to switch it up a little bit more again. So experiment number one with my blueberry bread. It seems to be baked all the way, but it got a little bit, it's been covered for a little over a day now. It's kind of sticky to the touch. Um, there is sugar in this recipe, so we'll just have to see how this comes out. Again, I'm thinking of like a biscuit type texture. I'm gonna actually cut that in half again, so these are more squares than whole halves. And I'm trying to keep them about a half inch thickness. The avocado seems to have made this a little bit um, spongier almost, like holding together more, um, which I think is good. If it was crumbly, I'm not sure when this dries that it would hold together like a cookie. That also means that maybe if we rehydrate with a paper towel, we might be able to get this back to a bread consistency without it um, going uh, soggy on us. If this turns out, um, you will be able to find the recipe for the uh, for the blueberry muffins in the freeze drying cookbook that Retired at 40 has put out that you can find at www.freezedryingcookbook.com. I'm going to cover these with lids and then they are going to go down into the freezer. I do pre-freeze everything. I have learned my cycles on the freeze dryer are much shorter when I pre-freeze and my freezer is running anyways and I have the space to pre-freeze. So I am always going to pre-freeze before I go into the freeze dryer, a preference for me um, just to shorten that freeze drying cycle time. So now we're moving on to what I am going to go ahead and just call my no-bake freeze-dried granola bars. And the first thing I'm going to do is add two tablespoons of chia seed to the bottom of a two cup measuring cup. And we're going to add two cups of just warm, hot, hot, warm water from your tap. And then that's gonna sit while we get some other stuff going. Next, you need to get one cup of dates chopped up I get these on Amazon. Um, These nuts, um, they come in like a five pound bag, which makes them very reasonable. Um, They've been good dates. I use them in oatmeal frequently, but we're gonna chop these up. You don't want the ones that are all covered in like sugar and stuff. You're going to want a date that doesn't have all of that. Cause again, I'm trying not to add any sugar to these to have them be a little healthier for you. Next, I'm going to add some lemon zest and get my lemon juice Um, One thing I want to remind you is in my Tackling Citrus video, I showed you how to use boiling water to get the wax off of your lemons, your oranges, your limes, any type of commercially purchased um, citrus fruit is going to have some sort of wax on the outside, even if it's organic. I don't want to be eating wax. So make sure you use that boiling water trick to get the wax off before you use any kind of zest. You want about a teaspoon of lemon zest. I need to get the rest of that off of there. And then we're going to go ahead and juice my lemon and add that. While you're doing these other steps, make sure you stop to occasionally stir your chia seeds. 
you'll notice that they almost start to look like caviar, for lack of a better word. And again, you're gonna just let these keep soaking for a while yet, but you wanna stir them occasionally, help break up any clumps, and let them just keep soaking. Eventually, this whole container will be a gelatinous looking substance of what I would say looks a lot like caviar. This next part can take some time. We're gonna put our burner on a medium to medium high temperature and we're going to add two cups of water. The big thing with this is once this gets close to boiling, you need to stir this constantly until you get a nice, thick, bubbly substance here and the dates are fully cooked and very, very tender. So this might take 15 to 20 minutes to get this cooked. I'm not going to bore you. I will bring us back here as soon as this part is cooked. Once the dates are thick and bubbly, you're going to add the chia seed. I actually ended up um, soaking four tablespoons in those two cups of water. And then I'm going to add one cup of the dried cranberries and cook for another five minutes over low heat. This way those cranberries will freeze dry better. Next, I added one cup of applesauce and one avocado and my cooked date mixture into a blender, and then I blended until smooth. Next, pour the mixture into a bowl and add the one cup of unsweetened coconut flakes and two cups of high quality rolled oats and mix by hand. Normally you should add spices here. You will notice that I forgot to add my spices and I just sprinkled some cinnamon on the top um, once in my freeze dryer tray. Next, line your freeze dryer tray with a sheet of parchment and then you will want to spread the mixture out on a tray. I would recommend going on to two trays to make these a little thinner and to do 40 portions instead of 20 portions so they're more the size of a cookie. These are very dry once they are freeze dried. All three of these look wonderful. I made a set of my granola bars with blueberries also. So you'll see the blueberry biscotti bread, blueberry granola bar, and my cranberry granola bars. I'm going to start with the blueberry biscotti. It is very, very solid and hard, and not so sure it's good because it's too hard. You could break a tooth off in it. I'm going to try to rehydrate this um, with wet paper towel and in the fridge, I'm not sure that's going to work. I'm going to wrap the blueberry biscotti up in a damp, very wet paper towel inside a plastic bag and place this in my refrigerator overnight and see if we can get that biscotti to rehydrate. The two granola bars, however, taste well. The blueberry's not quite as flavorful as the cranberry. I like the cranberry one better. I definitely think making these thinner and smaller portions would be the best way if you wanted to eat these. I was not able to successfully rehydrate the biscotti in the fridge. It's kind of slimy-ish on the outside, but still very hard on the inside. So I don't think this is a win. However, I did discover if you dunk the biscotti in your coffee, it's not so bad. So we'll call this like a 50% win um, because otherwise it just really wasn't very good. Thank you again for joining me at Adventures in Freeze Drying and we will see you next time.